I don't know who said it, but I've certainly heard that the price for freedom is constant vigilance. And I think that's important to remember. Hello everyone, Dylan Schumacher, Citadel Defense. And today we're gonna to talk about uh, good news. So in the city or the state of New York, uh, they were proposing this bill for like the third-ish time, something like that. Again, try to link it in the description below here. Uh, but I believe it was bill A416, which basically said that the state of New York, if they even suspect that you uh, might be a transmitter, transmitter of a communicable disease, they could forcibly remove you and you know detain you and quarantine you against your will for up to 60 days before they actually had to go to court in order to keep you there. It's absolutely insane. It's literally the government saying, we can put you in a camp whenever we want, depending on how we feel about it, because we say so, and you have to stay there. And we're just gonna make that the law now. It's absolutely, I mean, out of this world, beyond the pale, insane. This is like Australia level bad kind of stuff. And they proposed this, this law in New York. Now, fortunately, it looks like it, as of today, the 21st of December when I'm filming this, and this might come out a few days later, uh, <clears throat> they have withdrawn that, they have withdrawn that law. They've said, no, we're not gonna, we're not gonna propose it to vote on this any longer, which is good. I am only assuming that it was withdrawn because people said, uh, hey, this is crazy. And so hopefully that's what happened. And hopefully nothing like that would ever be proposed again. Anybody who would propose a law like that, anybody who would vote for a law like that, anybody who would do anything to support something like that should be tarred and feathered. Uh, that's just kind of unequivocal. That should, that should definitely happen. Because that, of course, goes against the entire founding principle, founding law, and purpose of this nation. I will say this until I am blue in the face. Our civil liberties keep us safe and the job of government is to protect your rights. That's why we founded this United States government thing. The government protects your rights. The government doesn't determine what rights you have. The government protects your rights. Ask yourself, how good of a job are they really doing at that? So I wanted to stop and just share with you that this is a good thing, that this is not going further. We should be happy about that. And we should be ever vigilant because as you well know, more and more and more of these things are gonna come down the pipe. As I'm making this video, I know of at least four major cities, uh, Chicago, New York, Boston, and I think one on the West Coast, maybe it's LA, maybe it's San Francisco, that are trying to enforce vaccine requirements, right? You're not allowed to shop here or go here or do anything unless you can prove that you have a vaccine and, and on and on and on. So more and more of these gross, unbelievable, Nazi-like laws are gonna be enforced and passed and put in place. And we need to be aware, we need to be vigilant. And if you live anywhere near those places, move while you still can. Do brave deeds and endure.